Hello everyone. We will continue the topic ALV by CL underscore SALV underscore table class. And in the previous video, we started with double click functionality. And yes, we simply displayed that data from VBAK table. If I will run this particular program, suppose if I will log in again, if I will execute the program, And yes, we have that data from VBAK table. And yes, if you see as of now, no buttons are appearing in the application toolbar. And that is covered also whenever we displayed the simple ALB. At that time, those buttons were not appearing. So we simply, simply get the object of the function class. And then we enable that. Same thing we will do here also. Suppose if I will go to back button and we are following the same to same practice. Whenever you want to do something with column, yes, you need to get a object of column settings. Whenever you want to go for function setting, you have to get a object of the function setting class. Whenever you are going for sorting, filtering, every time you have to get an object of that particular class. So how we will do that? I will double click onto this class. And you can see we have a method get underscore function. We have the method get underscore functions. It is clearly saying we will get a function object and this method will return us the object of this particular class. And in this class, we have the method. If I will go for the method set underscore all. If you remember at that time, I showed you default method also. I showed you all method also. So we will go for set underscore all, activate all generic function. This is the common practice always we will do. You have to get a object of that particular class. Now, just now we saw get underscore functions is a instance method. It means we have to call through the object. So I will go to pattern. I will go to a bar object patterns. What is the instance? What is the instance of CLSALV table class? Hello underscore ALV1. CL underscore SALV underscore table. And now we will use the method get underscore functions. Get underscore functions. I will go for OK. I will declare one object in front of value. The type of value will be same as that of LO underscore functions. If I want to check the type of value, I will simply double click. It is referring to this particular class. So I will declare the object. Hello underscore functions type ref to functions class. I will check the syntax up to this level and yes. Now, in this particular class, we have the method set underscore all. If I will check the method set underscore all, it is an instance method. And yes, if we have the instance method, we have to always call through the object. You can see it is an instance method. Now, we will simply, simply 
call the method set underscore all of this particular class. I will go to pattern, a bab object patterns. Now we have the instance is lo underscore functions. Now this is the class. And now we will use the method set underscore all. I will go for OK. Now I will simply uncomment. Yes, we want to pass true. You all know true means capital X. If I will double click onto this interface. This is an interface. which has the attributes true and false. If you want to check the value of true, it will be capital X. If I will double click, you can see a back underscore true is capital X. So we are passing set underscore all. The value of this parameter is capital X. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. And you can see how the flow is going on. CLSALV table is returned. We are using the method get underscore functions of this particular class. We are getting a object of another class. And with the in that class, we are using the method set underscore all. And same to same practice you will always follow during column setting, function setting, sorting, filtering. Now, if I will run, you can see we have the all the buttons in the application toolbar is activated. Now we will go for double click functionality. Again, the learning, previous learning will play a vital role. Whenever I will double click, I want to display the data from BBAP table. Here, the knowledge of events topic will play a vital role. When we covered this thing through CLGUI ALV grid class, at that time also we used the event. If you remember, at that time we have the class CLGUI ALV grid. If I will go for this class, CLGUI ALV grid, we used the event double underscore click. If I will go to event, if you remember, we use the event double click, hotspot click. We use double click at that point of time. When we have hotspot, we used that at that point of time, hotspot click. And we all know whenever we have event, we have three things. One is triggering method, one is event handler method, and we have to register the event handler method. Same to same thing will play a vital role here. We will go for event triggering, we will go for event handler, and then we will register the event handler method. Now we will see how we can achieve this. Now people will simply, simply go for now CLSALV table class. They will go to this class. Now I am just telling the process how you can reach for the event class now if you are using CLSALV table. When you used CLGUI ALV grid, no problem events are available into this particular class itself. Now we will see, we are using CLSALV table. If I will double click, if I will go to event, now people will say there is no event available. How I can go for hotspot click? How I can go for double click? So in that case, same to same previous learning will play a vital role. When you, we covered function settings, we call the method get functions. When we covered column settings, we call the method column settings. When we covered filter sorting, we call the respective method. 
same to same thing will play a vital role. You have to call the method get event will be there. Whenever we will call the method, we will get a object of another class. And in that class, we have the event double click or hotspot click. Same to same, SAP followed the same practices and the same practices we need to also follow. Suppose if I will go for this class CLSALV table. Now, if I will show you the event event. So we have a method. We have a method get underscore event. We will get a object of the event class. Just see if I will go to parameters. This is a another class. If I will go for this class and you can see if I will go to events, you can see both the events. We have the double click event also. We have hotspot click also. So this is the way and maximum time in the interview we ask this question. Yes, how you are navigating to events class through CLSALV table. If you are going for CLGUI ALV grid, no problem. Here itself in this class you will find the events and we simply call that event. But now we are going for CLSALV table. Here, how SAP followed the practice, you have to firstly get an object of different class and in that class, you will find those respective things. So now, what we will do? Firstly, firstly, we will call this particular method get underscore event. Whenever we will call this method, we will get a object of this particular class and yes, in this particular class, we will use the event. Firstly, we will use double click and then we will go for link underscore click also. But same to same learning will play a vital role. Yes, whenever we will double click, yes, who will handle the double click method? Event handler method. So we will create a event handler method. We will register the event handler method because that learning will be as it is. As of now, I'm just telling the process how you can reach for that dedicated event, how you can reach up to a class where that dedicated event is available. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, we enabled the functions because in our output, the buttons in the application toolbar is not appearing. So firstly, we call the method get underscore functions. It returned the object of this another class and we call the method set underscore all. Now the buttons are appearing. Now, what is our topic? We want to go for double click. We want to go for hotspot click. We all know this is the event based functionality. Yes, now whenever we cover this through CLGUI ALV grid class, no problem. We simply created a event handler method for double click event of this particular class. Now people will say in this particular class, there is no event available, double click and hotspot click. Then how we can achieve this? You have to follow the same to same practice. You have to call a get method so that you will get an object of different class. And in that class, you will find the method. So I showed you get underscore event method. And whenever we call this method, we will get an object of this particular class and we will use this particular event double click. In the next video, firstly, I will call the method get underscore event. We will go for event handler method. We will go for registering of event handler method. That part you will continue in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.